Hello and a warm welcome to Federal's special program, Capital Beat. Just two days before, there were stories of how the seat sharing arrangement of the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi has almost been finalized, where Congress will contest on 85 seats and uh, Shiv Sena Udhav Thakre will contest on 85 seats and so will NCP Sharad Pawar. The rest of the seats, hectic negotiations are still on and there's one man who's trying to turn the wheel and make things work for Maharashtra Vikas Agadi and that is NCP Chief Sharad Pawar. Now in this election, what is the importance of being Sharad Pawar? We'll try and discuss this because it's a very crucial question. There have been hectic uh, uh, bargaining between Congress and Udhav Thakre, but uh, there are several reports that Sharad Pawar at every step has tried to intervene and make things work for Maharashtra Vikas Agadi. So we'll try and understand the importance of this Maratha strongman. Joining me now is veteran uh, political commentator from Maharashtra, Sanjay Jog. Thank you so much, Sanjay, for joining. We have Venkatesh Kesri, who is uh, the veteran journalist and political commentator. Thank you so much, uh, Venkatesh, for joining. And I'll begin with Sanjay Jog. Sanjay, the very question of uh, being Sharad Pawar in this Maharashtra elections of 2024, as far as the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi is concerned, what do you think has been the role of Sharad Pawar so far? Yes. Uh, Nilu, there are so many facets uh, to tell about what uh, uh, the role Mr. Pawar is playing right now to weave together and keep the entire Mahavika Sagadi uh, stronger and, you know, uh, to put up a show of unity. Quite interesting. You know, after the Lok Sabha election, you know, there was as if, you know, within the Mahavika Sagadi, few parties, particularly Congress, was of the view of just, it's just a matter of getting into the legislature, take the oath and we are there in the government. But the much water has flown. Basically, last four months, Mahayuti literally swung into action. They came out with a lack of floor of welfare and development program. But during that time, it was Mr. Pawar who has been all through consistently driving that if the time has not gone. It's okay, Lok Sabha elections are over. We have to rewrite, tweak the strategy and go ahead basically to take on Mahayuti as Mr. Pawar has been consistently saying in his speeches, not in the present rally because he has yet to start the campaigning. But whatever the travel that he had conducted post Lok Sabha election, it was his only one you know, sentence that he used to pick up was that Aplala Mahayuti sa Sarkar Galva said. That means we have to just defeat Mahayuti in the coming election. And for that, Mahavika Sagadi needs to be further stronger. So, you know, for that, you know, that's the very beauty of Mr. Prabha. But what happened during the period? Congress, as if still yet to come out from its avatar, that Mr. Pawar was all the time looking at unless and until Mahavika Sagadi weaves this seat sharing agreement with full force, they are not able to take on so effectively the Mahayuti. That was one thing. Secondly, you know, as I was telling, Congress was under impression still and they are appearing as if the only party still they can rule the nation. And that's what the problem was about the seat sharing arrangement. Congress initially started with, they will be the big brother. For that, Mr. Pawar said no issue. Then they went on, you know, asking for much, you know, the seats. Again, there was an issue between the Congress and the Uddhav Balasar Thakre, Shiv Sena. Because Uddhav Thakre led Shiv Sena was also saying it was <clears throat> Mr. Uddhav Thakre who is the key factor in bringing these three together. So they will definitely naturally be the claimant for more seat. In between, they lost almost two months. You know, by the time the election code code of conduct on 15th was announced, Mr. Pawar was expecting that the seat sharing deal was sealed, but it could not. But what has now happened is quite interesting. Two days before, as we discussed, Mr. It was only because of power, this, you know, three parties were made to sit together again and come out with a press conference saying that on 85 seats each, they have arrived. That comes to 255. The remaining three of which 33, 15 are still a matter of negotiation, but the 18 will definitely go to the smaller, like-minded and secular party. What I'm driving home the point is that it has been consistently Mr. Pawar who has been chasing all these parties to come together, just resolve their own differences and put up a show. One thing. Second, Mr. Pawar knows the arithmetics of Maharashtra. 
it's maharashtra is not haryana bjp has realized that after much of you know uh, gango after the haryana election uh, victory and what not nobody is now talking about you know haryana victory within the bjp because in maharashtra there are so many factors a the ongoing maratha and uh, you know obc uh, this thing protest b very very interestingly the manner in which a lack of crore of welfare and development schemes <laughs> were announced at the cost of fiscal management and fiscal prudence by the mahayuti for that you know a lakshman rekha as if has been crossed or not is a question third very interestingly the rising discontent within the farmers the distress in the farming community the right. increase you know unemployment and also because of the urbanization a kind of a neglect towards the rural area so amir's entire this you know factor mr pawar knows very well that they will definitely have to come with some kind of an applicable narrative that can be taken up definitely taken up like last, last time what they did about the constitution change and the scrapping of uh, you know reservation this time round power has been a pacifier a negotiator and a mediator and ultimately an architect of this kind of a combination let's see how mr power succeeds in bringing them in and putting them together to effectively take on the mayuti because just to tell you yes. till 29th of this month the nomination filing will go on what mr power and the other parties are definitely to uh, kick start the campaigning practically after diwali that is going to be after four so we'll have to wait what happens right. during those days <clears throat> absolutely okay now let me come to venkatesh now venkatesh uh, 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 the way uh, uh, sanjay described that he is the real pacifier the negotiator and uh, is he really the main spine of maharashtra vikas agadi otherwise this alliance would have fallen apart so now that the seat sharing arrangement has been sealed at 85 each and now sharad pawar is working on the further micro management of the three parties uh, do you think that he can really because Congress and uh, mm -hmm. Shiv Sena, Uddhav Thackeray, they've been vying, uh, you know, for each other for the CM's post. So, is uh, will uh, Sharad Pawar walk away with the main narrative, and he will emerge as the biggest leader of the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi, the manner in which he is uh, uh -huh. negotiating with the parties? <clears throat> so, basically, Sharad Pawar has been the face of the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi. He has, he is the architect of the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi, Maharashtra Agadi, Maharashtra Vikas Agadi. Now, uh, while the Shiv Sena and Congress they are aspiring for the Chief Minister's post, Sharad Pawar is going away, going ahead with the object only objective that it, this government, this Mahayuti government, has to be defeated. He has a clarity about his objective. He has a clarity about his strategy, which the Congress and the Uddhav Thackeray Shiv Sena, I think they are confused. They are started eyeing with the on the Chief Ministership. Which is not the fact. The BJP and its allies have recovered after the defeat in the Lok Sabha elections. They have almost they have announced soaps, different soaps to attack the different sections of the society, which the Shiv Sena and Congress I think they have not realized. Uddhav, Uddhav Shiv Sena and Congress have not realized, and it's it, they have created a bad impression by delaying the seat sharing arrangement, and now 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 they have little time. now they have to set the narrative against the government you see the, the government is backing bank, banking on the swaps while the uh, opposition's mahavikas agadi is relying on the anti incumbency factor especially the plight of the farmers the insecurity of women unemployment uh, then uh, there are several issues in maharashtra which was not unfortunately highlighted effectively by the opposition parties this is going to be a tricky election in mar in the history of maratha since 1960 so you can you 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 see modi and shah they are not the factors in maratha which has already been proved in the lok sabha elections now it's a straight fight besides there are another angle is that obc versus maratha and uttar uh, this raj thakre's game and prakash ambedkar's role in the election is also going to be decided there are several fronts besides mahavikti and mahagadi so nobody knows how exactly will be the uh, will be the uh, uh, margin of the uh, victory so it's a uh, tricky but as far as sharad pawar is concerned i think he is a seasoned, seasoned person he has seen several ups and downs in politics defeats and victories in politics he is stable he is most stable most clear 
एंड ही इज प्रोवाइडिंग द लीडरशिप टू द महाविकास आघाड़ी महाविकास आघाड़ी विच कांग्रेस और उद्धव ठाकरे हैज नॉट हैज गिवन सो फार बिकॉज ऑफ देर कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन इन द अलायंस एंड देर एम्बिशन राइट no but sanjay coming to the fact that uh, there are so many contradictions between congress and udhav thakre's camp if need be supposing mva comes back to power and uh, there is no consensus on the cm candidate between uh, congress and udhav thakre camp could there be a possibility then sharad pawar takes over the post of the cm now since he is the main spine and uh, you know he's seen as the main pulcrum of the whole thing you're smiling but but couldn't this be a possibility he would take on the cm chair nilu about just 10 days before this question was posed to mr pawar and is you know in his that uh, typical uh, you know witty style he asked are you asking me about you know like he i mean he was so you know having a sense of time and humor that at the age of 85 you want me to lead the maharashtra which is impossible he said he has already ruled out but you know the question always revolves around mr pawar leader he is being looked at at this point in time as a leader who can definitely take the state ahead and bring out whatever the mess has been created right now at the maybe the economic level the political level and the social level but i totally rule out a possibility of mr power jumping uh, to the chief minister race but there are so many other opportunities ma'am say what a i mean let's let's you know crack like you know what we do in the max let's do with all the possibilities one why not mr udhav thakre because the manner in which he had to go you know there is definitely you know i will tell you just two days before yashomati thakur a firebrand mm-hmm. congress uh, legislator from tiusa in uh, amravati district from vidarbha she yesterday you know who who came for her filing nomination that bogat that uh, wrestler you know she had tweeted three days before aplyala uddhav thakre ana mukhyamantri karaycha hai means we have to make again uddhav thakre chief minister so there is definitely within the congress and of course shushena udav bala sahib thakre a opinion that udav thakre should be given an another chance because to just you know uh, in in uh, the manner in which he was humiliated and go second why not bala sahib thora he may be a shy he is been you know in in the assembly since 1985 but unfortunately had never got an opportunity to assert himself he has been all through there in the ministry he was there as uh, the mpcc president and right now the congress legislative party leader but never being looked at as a chief minister in material obviously nana patel is eyeing for that you want because being a quote unquote the, the confidence that he has won uh, from uh, rahul gandhi and particularly being an obc so i think these are the various you know uh, the probable faces and and just to tell you mr power is very you know crude and a rule also when it comes to uh, the question of not just about his chief minister okay. thing but he has already clear that ncp sp is not at all interested being a claimant for the chief minister's post so also miss uh, his daughter mp supriya said just last word you know in one of the rallies concluding rallies of the shiva swaraj yatra which was taken out by the state president and former minister jain patil you know he he praised mr jain patil like anything a great administrator a great you know organization guy so you know the press and media started writing as if you know he has been ticked off to be the next chief minister so both have clarified that nobody is interested right now yesterday also jain patil said so these are the probabilities but as you ask mr power is certainly not going to be the chief ministerial candidate okay now venkatesh what is the exact role of uh Sharad Pawar, you see, in the coming, of course, we we'll have to wait and watch as to what kind of results are there. Uh, does Maharashtra Vikas Agadi come to power? And if they come to power, what is going to be the role of Sharad Pawar? Is he going to be like a party patriarch, a party, uh, I mean, an alliance patriarch who is going to be the overarching figure guiding both Udav Congress and he is going to control the NCP as well? What is the exact role you see Sharad Pawar in? No, he has already played the role of when this Uddhav Thakre was the chief minister. He was ensuring the unity of the Mahavika Sagadi. Number one, number two, as you uh, as you we are discussing about who should be the chief minister or who will be the chief minister of Maharashtra, I think this is irrelevant, non-issue this time, because even Mahavika has not declared its CM candidate, and Mahavika Sagadi can't because of the contradictions in the Mahavika Sagadi itself. 
so power will have a larger role it will ensure this is a fight between power and modi power at any cost does not want the state to go in the hands of modi and amisha so he is trying hard to ensure that this anti bjp front should be strengthened so that the bjp could be kept outside power politics power will have a larger role of course he has acceptability he is not a challenger to any party he is not a threat to any party he has good equations with rahul gandhi he has good equations with other allies also even buddho thakre and congress state congress leaders i think he is playing a larger role now he has no ambition at least to remain in the state uh, if if in politics you can't say if the situation comes ncp will also have a chief minister candidate you see this time this eknath shinde have lesser number of seats but bjp offered him the chief minister's post i i don't know we don't know what could happen after in the post poll scenario but power certainly will have a role and he has played this role earlier also and there is no clarity there is no competition there is no threat to sharad pawar so venkatesh what is the kind of micro level planning which sharad pawar now is getting into because just with a few sharad, numbers yes, i yes, mean yes. I, uh, yeah, yeah. yes sharad pawar has never been known as a booth manager management known for his booth management he is a strategist he has a broader strategy he has a following he has network and institutional strength institutional strength of this is cadre is also one of the strengths he has and he has a appeal and he knows the grammar and language of politics so booth management could be one of the factors but basically he is setting the narrative and i think he will uh, he will uh, harden his stand on this anti incumbency factor especially the performance of this government in the last two and half years number one number two they have damaged tarnished the image of maharashtra at the national level by openly encouraging splits and defections the role of the judiciary the role of the election commission of india the role of the speaker of maharashtra will also be discussed during the election campaign thirdly that basically when the bjp has a majority why did it offer the chief minister's post to a uh, to a junior partner that question will also be raised and thirdly he will paint bjp as anti marathi anti maharashtra and that can click you see uh, this uh, ladki bahin yojana can help the government to to some extent but in maharashtra pune nagpur aurangabad have emerged as the crime as the crime centers in the state the state government especially the hope minister completely ignored this aspect law and order situation so all these things will come and i think uh, it will be a good election in the history of maharashtra since 1960 and uh, there is no even bjp is not i dreaming for this wave despite announcing several welfare programs at, at different sections of the society they are also not sure they are also worried so there are unseen invisible factors which can work in this election eventually you can see these issues after 3rd of november when the last date of withdrawal is over and right. then the real players their b team c team d team their dummy candidates who are etc it will be clear and people will start reacting to the situation yeah so the same question that you know what kind of a micro level planning uh, Sharad Pawar is indulging in too, which is very interesting to know because he's working on the larger narrative, the broader strategy, whatever differences were left, he's trying to iron out all that. But now, how will he ensure that the people come out in large numbers to the booth and vote for MVA? That is a very big challenge. And can that challenge be addressed by the Maratha strongman? Nilu, in fact, he has been known for micro planning and which he is doing since last two months. as i told you for the viewers in maharashtra there are about 1 lakh booths where bjp always says you know hamara dhyan booth pe aur panna pe so mr pawar is silently doing it without having much of publicity then there are about 1 lakh 60 a or 83000 basically you know uh, polling stations in across maharashtra there are 9.63 crore voters mr pawar is focusing on basically in the larger interest of the mahavikas agadi so that 
three parties along with the smaller parties can reach out and you know in fact increase their outreach with the voters a secondly you know he is also focusing region wise like for example 62 important seats basically in vidarbha 46 in basically marathwada in mumbai and the entire you know this plot Kong, uh, up konkan there are more than about 36 plus 18 around 670 seats so he is focusing here at the same time north maharashtra another region western maharashtra 70 or 6 so what i am telling you is that basically he is taking you know all those congress then basically shivsena being the major allies along with cpi cpm they have a strong hold basically in parts of north maharashtra also the pwp although they are winning out not in the race but still their presence is there in raigad district part of sholapur and the other parts of this thing kolapur also so there he is definitely looking at how they can be brought bring into action third very interestingly you know what has happened is that over the period there have been lot of and series of morchas and rallies of farmers the laborers and the third basically the anganwadi workers you know right. just to tell you that he has already held couple of meetings at least to my knowledge there are four meetings which he addressed not just in yb chavan center in nariman point but in pune of this what we call right. as the ngos and the various organizations representing these sections of the society so he is not just focusing on the political class but also bringing all these sections together so that they can work basically with a goal as he has been telling to defeat mayuti right one one quick question sanjay to you and then i'm going to wind up the show that you know sharad pawar is known to be pulling out some rabbit out of his hat at the end of this entire electoral exercise many people also say that bjp uh, cannot reach up to sharad pawar's level and that is the kind of uh, uh, you know the political game which pawar plays and he's known to play that kind of a game but can he really defeat mahayuti this time that is the biggest question with whatever planning he is doing major strategy uh, strategy whatever he is doing but can he really defeat the mahayuti given the power money muscle they have the institutions by their side what would you really say that can pawar really pull uh, a rabbit out of the hat this time nilu i am not a psychologist neither i am an astrologer but i can certainly say that he has been putting all his force his action and that plan at play to defeat mahayuti whether he will succeed or not we'll have to wait but you know the actual drama will begin from 4th of november where he will kick start the campaign and will start you know you may recall in 2019 elections after you know he got wet in the rains how suddenly the entire mahavikas agadi got the kind of a change you know in their perception and they managed to say upload and you know what happened later the uddhav thakre led a mahavikas agadi came to power so at this point in time the same thing happened uh, during uh, lok sabha election it was he who brought all those forces together ran the campaign about against the modi government of about that 400 plus and 400 par and partially they succeeded this time round his effort is basically to put up a show of unity and go full whole hog to defeat mahayuti whether he will succeed or not but i still strongly feel he will make all effort in that direction and which he is doing it because of his micro planning all right so we'll have to wait and watch whether these uh, tricks and the political game of uh, the maratha strongman uh, sharad pawar really works and helps him to defeat mahayuti thank you so much uh, sanjay jog uh, venkatesh kesri it was wonderful thank to have you thank you, you. Thank you. and one appeal to the viewers who are watching this discussion subscribe to our channel send us your feedback and stay tuned to the federal